Hello, and uh, welcome to another MindFish.com hard math question video. So again, uh, we're taking you through some of the hardest questions in the official SAT study guide, a book I strongly recommend you buy. Uh, this question is question 16 on section 6, page 587. So it is a, uh, a free response answer or a student-generated answer, so there aren't any multiple choice answer choices here. We have to come up with our own answer. Now, MindFish.com, mindfish we really stress that you try to avoid doing too much algebra especially on multiple choice questions. However, when you're in a situation where you have to make up your own answer, algebra is often inevitable, inevitable, especially on the harder questions. So this is an f of x question, which is really just another way of saying y, but it gives people lots of problems. So I'm going to walk you through it, and hopefully at the end you'd be able to do something very similar. So it says if h of x equals 14 plus x squared over 4, and it says if h of 2m equals 9m, what is one possible value of m? So the first thing I have to do is understand what does h of 2m mean? Well, all h of 2m means is that the input is now 2m. So the input used to be x, and this was our equation. So all I'm going to do, it's like cutting, it's like find and replace in Microsoft Word. I'm going to find that x, and I'm just going to cut it, and I'm going to replace it with 2m. Now, it's really important that you put it inside those parentheses, because if you don't, most people would forget to square the 2, and that would cause a mistake. Okay, so we're going to simplify that out, and that's going to be 14 plus 4m squared over 4, which is going to be 14 plus m squared. And it says that that, or h of 2m, which is that, is equal to 9m. Well, now I've just got a little bit of an a little bit of algebra to do. So whenever I see an m squared, a constant, and an m, I realize this is a quadratic. I want to get it into that ax squared plus bx plus c form. So m squared minus 9m plus 14 equals 0. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to factor that. m minus 7, m minus 2 equals 0. And so my two solutions here would be either 7 or 2, either one. You could grid in either one. Don't grid them both in. It doesn't, it's not going to give you credit for 72 or 27, but either one. Now, if you had time and you weren't rushed, or let's say you had finished the section, had a few minutes left, great chance to use your time to double check that answer. So if the answer is 2, what are we really saying? We're saying h of 4 is equal to 18. So I'm going to check that. Put in uh, h of 4, so 4. 4 squared is 16. 16 over 4 is 4. 14 plus 4 is 18. Check. Okay, that last little step is very important, uh, especially if you have extra time, because it's a way to make sure that you didn't do, make a careless mistake. So hopefully you'll have uh, less difficulty in the future with a f of x challenge problem near the end of a section. And hope to see you again on some of our hard math question videos and or at uh, mindfish.com. Thanks. Mindfish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny, and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. Mindfish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.